Ethan? Are you awake? Answer me! Hi. Good morning, baby. Finally. You didn't show up yesterday. What were you doing on our ninth anniversary, Ethan? Oh, I'm really sorry, baby. I just... Just what? You just forgot that you had a girlfriend and a nine-year relationship? No, no. I wanted to be there with you on our anniversary. I swear. Then tell me why you weren't. I'd been sitting alone and waiting at the restaurant for hours. Every single person in that restaurant was staring at me. All of them. And I had no idea where you were and when you would come. I called you a million times. Why didn't you pick up? Listen, I know yesterday was our big day, but I got work to do. I couldn't leave my office because we had a problem with the coming project. Everybody had to stay. How could I leave? You were at your office the whole time? Really? Yes. Someone messed up our most important project of the year because of a stupid mistake. And my whole team had to stay up all night to fix it. What a nightmare. But why didn't you answer my phone calls? Baby, I was so busy that I couldn't touch my phone at all. If I had known you were calling me, I would definitely have picked it up. Oh, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had such a bad day. That's okay. I understand how excited you have been about the day since last month. Baby, I really want to meet you right now, but I just got home like 10 minutes ago. You really must be exhausted now. Yeah, well, I'm sorry again. What can I do for you on our anniversary? That's not a big deal now. We'll talk about it later, after you had a good night's sleep, okay? Is that okay? Because you were so excited about it. I feel bad if I just go to sleep right now. I really want to make up for you. Totally fine. We have it, like... Every year, so no big deal, honey. You mean more to me than anything. I really want to say thank you. Why? Why do you thank me? Well, this might be a little bit crazy, but when you didn't show up, I thought you would break up with me yesterday. Huh? Why would you have that thought? Well, I thought that because you didn't show up and I couldn't call you, and then I think about how detached you've been recently. But now we're good, and I know that I was just being paranoid. Yes, absolutely. You know I love you, honey. We're better than ever. I know, and I'm so happy. So, can I sleep now? Of course. I'll call you in the morning. Love ya. I love you too. Bye. Honey, I just texted her. She hasn't found out I was at your place last night. She believed the story we made up. <laughs> I'll take a shower real quick and pick you up in one hour, okay? What? Whose house were you at? Oh my god, Ethan. I can't believe that I trusted you in your stupid story. Layla? Oh no, no, no. That's a mistake, baby. No, it's an accident. Mistake? Accident? Oh, I'm not a fool, Ethan. You're even taking her on another date. You're cheating on me. Tell me who was this girl. No, I can't. I don't want to ruin your friendship. My friendship? I don't have many friends. I'm just close to one girl from high school and... Oh my freaking god. Don't tell me you cheated on me with Beverly. My best friend? Are you serious? See? I told you I don't want to ruin your friendship. You only have one friend. If you find out about my relationship with her, you won't have anyone left. You know I only have one friend, and you decided to hook up with her? How kind of you, you scumbag cheater. Come on. It's almost ten years, you know? Sometimes I got bored and I just wanted to take a rest. I bet you too, right? No. I don't think about having an affair. Not for a moment. 
then now you can. I mean, you can go fooling around with one of my friends. Then it's a tie for both of us. Are you drunk? Because you're acting like an idiot right now. I never lower my standards for what you said. A tie? Listen, honey, I'm really sorry, okay? Yesterday was actually a hard day for me. I just wanted to chill out a little bit. And it ended up leaving your girlfriend alone on your anniversary to hook up with her only friend. Oh, let me say it again. Your ex-girlfriend. Okay, fine. Fine. I admit it. I had an affair with your best friend. I'm sick of you in this damn relationship. I'm happy with Beverly now. Congrats, Mr. Cheater. You horrible man. Screw both of you. Now that we're over, let me tell you something. Beverly is way better than you. She's beautiful and understanding. She brings out the good sides of me. She always appears when I call. Not like you. Oh yeah? And she's a cheater, just like you. Leila, I'm happy with Beverly. I hope you leave us alone. I don't want you to hurt my girlfriend, okay? And don't ever beg me to come back to you. Me? Begging you? Don't worry, because it's never gonna happen. Now get out of my life! Both of you, bastard! Hey, Layla! I guess you heard about me and Ethan, right? If you mean the disgusting relationship between you and my ex-boyfriend, yeah, I did. That's rude, Layla. Don't say that to your best and only friend. Well, not anymore. How can I call you my best friend after what you did with my boyfriend behind my back? I'm so ashamed of you, Beverly. Honey, you should be happy for us. Wow, how come? As a best friend and an ex-girlfriend, you know when someone important to you finally finds their soulmate, you should congratulate them. Even though you stabbed me in the back, ruining my 10-year relationship and stealing my boyfriend? Also, I don't care about either of you anymore. Be gone. Actually, it's just nine years, Layla, not ten. Oh, now you have my boyfriend, so you know about my relationship better than me, huh? Layla, that's not what I meant. This was never the way I planned, I swear. At first, it was an accident, but now it feels so right. I mean, the connection, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically. It's incredible. He's so amazing, Layla. He brings out the good side of me. Oh, now you even speak like each other. That's so cute. And it makes me puke, bastard. Oh my god! Layla! How dare you? You know what? You're both cheaters. No doubt that you guys belong to each other. Good match, huh? Fine, if you say so. I can't do anything to save our friendship. Ha ha. You're really funny, Beverly. Where on earth do you get the idea of saving our friendship? Let me remind you, the second you put your hands on my boyfriend, there's nothing called friendship between us. After all, you're not his match. I know he's been tortured for nine years with such an ugly girl like you. Now he deserves someone better, like me. I wish I had taken him away from you earlier. Thanks for quitting Ethan, anyway. No, Beverly. Thanks for taking the garbage from my life. Ugh. You'll regret it one day. Then I'm frankly looking forward to that day. Let's see who will regret it first. Hi, honey! Long time no see. How are you doing? Um, who's that? Oh my god, it's me, Beverly, your best and only friend. Did you delete my number? Oh, Beverly, I almost forgot that you're still alive. Come on, Layla. 
It's been six months. It's not that big of a deal. Why are you still angry with me? Not until you texted me and reminded me of what you had done. Don't be sad, girl. I bet you're still not over Ethan yet, are you? Don't worry. I'll brighten your day up a little with the story about my recent beautiful life. Thanks. I'm not really in the mood. You're my friend, Layla. I really want to share it with you. Go talk to your boyfriend. I don't have time for this, okay? Ethan is kind of busy these days. Wait, don't you know that he's just got promoted? Well, his income has tripled since then. Also, we're in the best stage of our relationship. Ethan is such a sweet man. He never lets me do anything. Yeah, I heard about his promotion. Congrats, Mrs. Manager Girlfriend. How did you know? Are you still texting Ethan? If so, I warn you, stay away from him. He's never getting back with you, Layla. Ha ha, Beverly. You're still so funny. Why do I have to lower my standards to text a cheater? And he's not the one who told me about this promotion. Then who? Don't freak out. It's just someone who's working at the same company as your boyfriend. I think you don't know him. It seems like my old friend is hitting on someone, right? I'm happy for you. Can you bring that man to my wedding next month? What? You're going to marry Ethan? Yes. Why are you so surprised? Nah. I thought your relationship with Ethan wouldn't last long. Why not? Firstly, you're cheaters. And cheaters will revert to their cheating ways. Stop it! Secondly, you've never had a serious relationship. More than two months long. You're wrong. Now I have one. Hold on. I think I know the reason why you're still with Ethan. Because of his money? How obvious. You know nothing, Layla. Don't bring money into my relationship with Ethan. You're just so jealous of me that you can't bear looking at me as being happy. Am I? Definitely. Then is it okay if I make him fall in love with me again? You know, we have the past. Oh my god, I knew it. You're not over Ethan yet. He is so great that you want to steal him from me, don't you? But sorry, baby. It doesn't work. He's my fiancé now. Beverly, why do you sound so insecure like that? Settle down, I'm just kidding. Just let you know that I've got my fiancé too. Really? Is that the man who's told you about my fiancé's promotion? I guess he's a low-rank employee, isn't he? Has he been under contract yet? If not, my fiancé might be able to help him. Don't worry. I think he'll get some by himself. Okay. But if you need my help, I can lend you some money. Now, let's talk about my wedding. You know, I've been dreaming about my perfect wedding since I was a kid, right? I guess there will be an orchestra, a lot of flowers and candles, and a gourmet meal. Exactly. Ethan said he would pay for anything I wanted. He makes my dreams come true. It'll be the best wedding you've ever seen. I'd like to invite you to my big day. Why do you need your ex-best friend and your fiancé's ex-girlfriend at your wedding? Well, I think I want to walk down the aisle before your very eyes. You should see how happy we are. I'll send you the invitation tomorrow. Remember to come! And bring your man, Layla. Layla, is the man sitting next to you your fiancé? That's right. Wow, he's so hot. Why didn't I know about such a good guy in my husband's office? Because you never had the chance to meet him? Maybe. He's handsome, but he's not under contract. What a hard life you have. Although, he's not under any contract now. It's okay. I love my man. As a friend, I think you shouldn't marry him. You know you cannot have a good marriage with bad finances. 
I don't want you to end up getting a divorce. As someone who's been betrayed, I think you should mind your own business, Beverly. By the way, are you talking about your marriage? If so, then Beverly, you still have time to fix it. Layla, it's my wedding. I know you're jealous of my happy ending, but that's too much. Wow, it sounds like I'm the bad person here. Have you forgotten your love affair? You know what? I'm sick of you. The only reason I'm here today is because of Thomas, my fiancé. So stop being nosy and focus on your damn wedding. Thomas? Why is that name so familiar to me? Go ask your husband if you want to know. Hey, Layla. It's Ethan. Beverly told me that you would attend my wedding with your fiancé. Is that right? Yes, you heard correctly. Then why are you sitting next to my uncle? Uh, because he's my fiancé? What? Layla, this isn't fun, okay? What are you doing? I know I hurt you a lot. After everything about me and Beverly. But I thought you were over me, right? Yes, I am. What's the matter with you, Ethan? I'm an independent woman. I can love whoever I want. That's my uncle, Layla. It's weird, don't you think? No, not at all. Hold on. Are you taking revenge on me for cheating on you by marrying my uncle? Huh. You're so confident. Don't be so delusional. Do you know that? Who do you think you are, Ethan? I love Thomas, and I had decided to marry him before I knew he was your uncle. Nothing is related to you. Now you know he's my uncle. Leave him now. I won't allow my ex-girlfriend to be my aunt. That's crazy. I don't think you can do anything to stop my marriage, Ethan. Thomas is a great man. Not a boy. Like you, he has his own mature perspective, and he knows what and who is good for him. So do I. You mean nothing to me now, Ethan. Oh, come on, Layla. Let's be realistic about this. How can my uncle marry a girl like you? I mean, look at you. You're ugly, boring, and not charming at all. I can see your big belly from the stage. You know, my family needs a wife, not a pig. <laughs> it's ridiculous that you even think you're going to marry him. Hey, Ethan, it's Thomas. Layla is my fiance, and she's going to be my wife in only two weeks, so you'd better watch your manners. Uncle Thomas? She's a liar. She doesn't love you at all, I swear. She's only using you to take revenge on me. Stop it before it's too late. I don't think I have to explain my relationship with my nephew. Look at me. I dumped her, and after six months, I have a beautiful wife, and so can you. You guys haven't got married yet. A CEO like you deserves a hot and beautiful wife, not a fatty. Watch out for your words, Ethan. I'm not an idiot. I know my wife better than anyone. Even if she pretended to take revenge or anything, I would make her fall in love with me. Now call her Auntie Layla, or I'll take my apartment back. What? No, you can't. You gave it to me when I got promoted as a company treat. If you take it back right now, where should I live? And my wife? Then do what I said. Call her Auntie. No way I'll do that. What a pity. I hope you can find a new apartment in two days. Say goodbye to your brand new car, Ethan. I'll take it back too. Why would you do that to me? That's the price you have to pay when making my fiancé sad. Okay, fine. I'll call her Auntie Layla. Good. Be a good boy, Ethan. I believe that you're smarter after this incident. You're crazy, Layla. I mean, Ethan's uncle? Really? Beverly, your wedding is going on. You should be busier than this, right? Yes, it is. But I don't know why my husband is so angry. 
He's been like that after texting you. Why did you tell him? What a boy. Thomas just asked him to call me Auntie Layla. And now he's acting like someone has taken all of his candy. How old is he? Five? What? You made him call you Auntie? Why not? I'm getting married this month. So that's soon going to happen. You and Ethan should practice from now on. Oh my god. You're such a witch. You accepted getting married to an older man to make our life miserable. An old man? Beverly, open your eyes. Thomas is not an old man. He's only ten years older than the three of us. And he's way more handsome than your stupid husband. What? Didn't you say my uncle-in-law is the man sitting next to you? Of course. Who else do you think? Oh. My. God. When Ethan told me about his rich uncle who gave us the new apartment and car, I assumed he was an old man. Because, you know, wealthy men are usually fat and old. If only I had known he was a handsome, successful man. See? I told you. Cheaters will revert to cheating. You're planning to steal my man again, aren't you? Don't you think that I can? Of course you can. Thomas is a man, not a boy. You can steal a boy easily, but with a man, you need much more. Like brains. Which I don't think you have. Layla, don't challenge me. I stole your boyfriend once. I can do it again, whoever he is. Oh, go ahead, little bride. I have the confidence to go to your wedding, and then I have enough to ruin your marriage. You're lying! Lying? Oh, honey. Do you know why Thomas agreed to give your husband an apartment? Because I asked him to. Why did you do that? I guess it's a small present from his aunt. By now, it turns out the apartment is the most valuable asset he has. You're evil! Be a good girl, Beverly. Call me Aunt Layla, or you and your husband will be homeless tomorrow. You cannot have a good marriage with bad finances, remember? This ain't over yet. Just you wait. Oh? I can't wait to see what you can do to me, filthy cheater. As expected, Beverly tried to seduce Thomas. She pulled out all the stops, using every trick in the book to wreck our family's happiness. But guess what? Every bit of her effort just turned into a pathetic joke in front of us. My husband and I won't let Beverly's embarrassing little antics sway us. When Ethan found out his wife was attempting to seduce his uncle, he lost it and kicked her to the curb. That sent him spiraling into alcoholism and a deepening depression. Eventually, Thomas couldn't continue covering for his nephew and had to let him go. Guess what they say is true. Chickens come home to roost.